Well, good morning, YouTube. Getting an early start. I'm gonna go up to one of the crappy spots and see what all I can catch because I want to do a catch and cook video so bad I can't see straight. Today, anything goes. If it's legal to keep, it's coming home with me. Seriously, I swear this thing's trying to hit me. I'm trying to do bad things to me. And I left my rod in the, in the house. So anyway, I'm gonna get up there, try to catch some crappie, do a catch and cook. What I'm tying here is a loop knot, and I've never been able to tie a decent loop knot to save my life, but once I figured out how to get the knot down, or the loop about as big as I want it, it's about the only knot that I ever tie anymore. Because I used to tie improved clinch, or just a plain clinch knot more often than not. Take our tag in and throw it in our bag instead of throwing it out. But I've got a buffet to throw at them today. I've got gulp minnows, I've got crappie magnets, trout magnets, I've got hard baits, mule fishing baits, Bobby Garlands, you name it. I'm going to find out what these crappie want at some point today. I've got pretty much all day to fish. So, we're going to try to make something happen. Fish already. What we came up here for just ain't big enough. Pretty black crappie. Fish. Itty bitty crappie though. That one got hit several times. It's just they didn't didn't exactly commit to it. Itty bitty one. Now, this water has come down significantly more since the last time I was up here, which was four or five days ago, I guess. Like it was up to just the bottom of this bigger rock right here. But it has gone down quite a bit more. And when I got up here, or when I was coming across the bridge, there's four deer standing at the end of this little point down here which is not surprising but we're going to start out if i can catch it here we're going to start out throwing a little 1 16th ice minnow um, hair jig by six cents there's number one of those gone that's a decent one you might be a keeper size I don't know my one tackle tray over here has a measuring thing on it We'll see real quick. This one, no, nine inches. This one, ain't big enough. Damn it. There we go. Same situation as that last one. That one got bit several times, but it didn't really commit to it. And hey, we got we got a we got a visitor up here. 
stepping out like it's those deer have crossed that point to this other side here if they come out i'll try to get some footage i felt you get it of course you being as small as you are somehow managed to knock slack in it slab donkey they look like all those they definitely look real healthy they got real good thick bodies on them That's large. That is 100% big enough to keep. Box right here goes to nine. Oh yeah, that's 10. gonna put you right yonder yeah that'll be good enough that crop ain't gonna take it nowhere we we'll switched up to a 132nd ounce pink sickle head by, by big t whatever drinko fishing something like that i don't remember and a uh, little shad pattern crappie magnet and i cut one leg off of it so that it'll get a little bit more action. Fish. You're too small. As old uh, Slab King Chat Town would say, you the right paint job, just the wrong size. I got that little dink on a 132nd ounce Arky sickle head loop knot and some little shad pattern Bobby Garland. Like, I ain't lying. I got a whole buffet for him today. <laughs> you had my hopes up. You know what? You had my hopes up. Yeah, I gotta have my pliers up. It's done. Yeah, it's bleeding just a little bit, but it wasn't in the gills, it was just in its tongue, so it'll be alright. Go down there. Tell your grandpappy and your grandmammy. There's a dude up there who wants to talk to him. There's a fish. Honestly, thought I was hung up on that one bit. Not a keeper. But it's crappy, so it counts. <laughs> Eat a bitty little dude. What are you? Look now. Look here. I need you to go back down there and tell the ones that are about this much bigger than you to get ahead of you. I just thought I was stuck or I was getting drug across something, but only thing this thing got 
was dragged across your lip. That one has a little bit of black nose in it. Like it don't have the stripe down its neck or down, down its head, but it's got it right there on its little chinny chin chin. I got you that time. You know, we're here for a catch and cook, so I need I need some of y'all to just, you little bitty ones to leave me alone for a minute. I mean, I'll take you, you know. I'll take y'all all day just cause I'm catching fish. But I need I need y'all to leave me alone and tell your grandmammy and your grandpappy to come bite that Berkeley gulp that's swimming by. And that mule fishing 2.0. Link in the top of the description. It's affiliate link. Go buy you some. Begging. Begging. Hear all that drag screaming and squealing and Not a bad little crappie compared to everything else we've caught today. Only thing is, only thing is, several of them that I've caught have been hanging real tight to a stump that's down there, and uh, me and that stump have had many a disagreement here lately. Hey, we caught a fish. It's only been about 45 minutes since the last one. Kind of figured they would just stop biting all, to all, or all together since that otter came through. But apparently not. I don't know. We'll give it a little while and might hit one more spot on the way home. Hey, there's one. It's a little bit nicer. Well... Compared to the last one, it's about the same. But we might hit one more spot on the way home. No, they're in here. It's just not the size we're looking for. What are you? You're a little bluegill. Hey, so at least we've got something different. If you were a little bit bigger, I'd put you on a stringer. Actually, if you were about a lot bigger, because I don't bother with bluegill unless they're just obscenely large. This one feels good. It's been about 30 minutes since we caught one, though. Yep, you're definitely a keeper. <laughs> and it feels good to catch a good size one. Like I have changed up color baits, size baits, changed up jig heads, color jig heads. You name it. And nothing. Ten. You going on the stringer and hopefully that otter from earlier didn't sneak up and get my other one off here no nope, it's still there Hey, we finally caught another one. What are you? You're what we've caught like eight billion of today. Crappie that are too small. Oh, belly flop and landed on a rock. I am sorry. All right, we're 
burner back. I didn't bother setting up my big burner thing. So I've got the little one over there, little hot plate looking deal. So instead of using the whisker sticker that I've used a bunch of times in the kitchen cooks, I'm going to take these little fillets that I've been marinating since I left the creek up there and put some slap you mama seasoning, breading, whatever on there and see how that goes. All right, I haven't ever actually used this, so. Oh yeah, she going. Uh, I guess it would help if I had the fish. Duh, it's right there next to me. But yeah, this has just been marinating in some uh, Cholula Chipotle. Is this open? Yes, but it's all caked up. I'm gonna use that Cajun seasoning. I think I've only used this once or twice. that down just a smidge because that's already good and warm or good and hot like I need it. Gotta make sure they work. I should have put a piece of paper towel down there to soak some of that up. <laughs> Could have done better. I didn't. What I should have done is take the fillets out of that marinade and put them in a separate bag with the breading, but I didn't. All right, I tried one little piece just for the heck of it, but let's get a official one. Actually get one that's a little bit crispier. The Slappy Mama is good. It does have a little bit more kick, but to me, just a little too salty. But then again, it could have had something to do with me just pouring that in there with the marinade instead of putting it in a separate bag and then doing it. It would have come out a little bit crispier and a little bit better flavor. And not as greasy. Anyway, one last bite. It's good, it's just a little bit too salty for my liking. But anyway, I'll probably next time go back to using the Whisker Seeker or at least change up how I did this one. I don't know. Who knows when the next catch and cook will be. <laughs> but this morning we ended up catching, I think, 21 crappie and one bluegill, but two were the only keepers. So anyway, freaking steak with the first catch and cook. Should have took it out and put it in a separate bag and then breaded it. But anyway, hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.